Most people believe their chats with AI tools are private, especially when someone types a message or creates an image using artificial intelligence. It feels like a one-on-one -on -one exchange between them and the system. It's natural to expect some level of privacy, but a recent discovery has shaken that trust and made many people question just how private these interactions really are. This new investigation by Wired really exposed something very concerning. A cybersecurity expert named Jeremiah Fowler came across an open and unsecured database. And this database belonged to a South Korean company called Genomis, which works with artificial intelligence. What he found inside was surprising. In there, he found more than 95,000 files were stored there for anyone to see, without any password protection or safety measures. And these files weren't just boring data, they were filled with highly sensitive and in many cases, disturbing content. As he looked deeper into the files, what he found was very troubling. Many of the images created by users were graphic and inappropriate. Some of the pictures showed fake images that looked too real. Some people call it deep fakes. Even worse, some of the files appeared to show illegal material that could involve children, which is incredibly serious and heartbreaking. This leak made it clear exactly what some people had been using Genomis AI tool to make, and it wasn't good. It exposed the dark side of AI, showing how people can misuse these powerful tools in dangerous ways when there are no limits or safety checks in place. Once the company was informed about the problem, they quickly closed the access to the database. But by that time, the files had already been exposed. The damage had been done. The trust people had in these AI tools and in companies that create them took a big hit. It also raised serious questions like, are our AI interactions really private? Who's watching? And what are companies doing to protect people and to stop their tools from being used in such terrible ways? This incident has left many people feeling worried and disappointed. It's a wake-up call for everyone. AI isn't just a fun toy or a helpful assistant. It's a powerful tool that, if left unguarded, can be twisted into something harmful. And when things go wrong, it's not just about data or files. It's about real people, real pain, and the need to make sure we're using this technology wisely and safely. However, to answer the question about safety, you need to stay glued to your screen to know how this could be handled. Dangers of trusting AI. This recent discovery and entire situation has left people shocked for many reasons. But one of the most troubling parts is what it shows us about how little we really understand AI safety and how we assume our information is protected. A lot of people use AI tools like they're chatting with a private assistant or penning down thoughts in a secret notebook. They feel safe enough to pour out their minds to the extent that some share personal goals, some think through business plans, and believe it or not, some even tell the AI their private confessions. But here's the thing, that's one of the worst things you could do with AI. Now imagine this, what if everything you typed in those AI chats wasn't kept private? What if it was stored somewhere? What if it could be seen by someone else, not just the people working at the company, but possibly even strangers on the internet? probably hackers or researchers. That thought alone is enough to make your stomach turn. The situation with Genomus isn't just a one-time mistake. It actually points to a much bigger problem we've all been ignoring. Many people have this false belief that anything they do with AI stays between them and the computer, but the truth is very different. In most cases, what we say or create with AI tools is saved, reviewed, and sometimes left open for others to see if security is in tight. That's a serious problem. Even some of the biggest names in the AI world, like ChatGPT from OpenAI or Gemini from Google, keep a record of what users say. They do this to help improve the way the system works. Though it's important to note that OpenAI doesn't use your chats to train their models unless you give them permission. You can actually control the setting. If you ever want to check it or change it, all you have to do is go to your settings. Find the part that says data controls, then look for chat history and training. If this feature is turned off, your chats are saved and they won't be used to teach the AI anything new. But if you leave that option turned on, then yes, your chats might be read by the team at OpenAI. Not in a creepy way, but to help the AI learn and improve. And even then, they do it carefully. They try to remove any names or personal information so it's not linked back to you. So here's what it all boils down to. 
Unless you've clearly said yes by keeping your chat history on, your conversations are not used to help train ChatGPT. But still, this is a gentle reminder for everyone. Just because you're typing into a machine doesn't mean it's a private space. AI can be a wonderful tool, but like anything powerful, it comes with risks. We need to stay aware, protect our information, and think twice before treating an AI like a digital diary. Keep watching as we unveil the necessary things you should do before and while using artificial intelligence. Proper ways to use AI. Whenever you use an AI tool that runs on cloud servers, there's always a small risk that what you type might be seen by someone else. It doesn't always happen because of hackers sometimes, a simple mistake by a person, a technical glitch, or even someone with bad intentions can lead to your private input being exposed. And when that happens, the damage can be so heartbreaking. The Gen Namas incident showed us just how serious this can get. When AI systems don't have the right protection, it's not just a matter of privacy anymore. It turns into something that can cause real harm to real people. These tools, when misused or left wide open, can collect disturbing content. From fake videos meant to hurt someone's reputation, to extremely violent or even illegal material, what some people put into these systems can go way beyond just being inappropriate. At some point, it becomes dangerous. This is why it's so important to think carefully when using AI. One of the biggest things to understand is that the things you type into AI chats aren't automatically private. Unless you're using a tool that works only on your own device or has very strong encryption, it's best to assume your input might be saved somewhere. So if something is too personal, private, or legally important, it's safer not to share it with an AI at all. The internet never forgets, and even if your input is made anonymous, parts of what you typed, be it an idea, a phrase, or a thought, could show up again in some other place in ways you never expected. And don't assume that every AI company plays by the same rules. Some are open about what they do with your data and how long they keep it, while others stay quiet, leaving users in the dark. That lack of honesty can be very risky. Even if a system isn't hacked, bad things can still happen. Sometimes the trouble starts from the inside. Probably a worker misusing the system or poor content filters letting harmful things through. And that can hurt just as much as a full-blown security leak. So this shows us that while AI can be a wonderful and helpful tool, it's up to us to use it wisely. Just like you wouldn't shout your secrets in a crowded room, you shouldn't type them into an AI tool without thinking twice. Being careful, asking questions, and knowing the risks can help keep you safe in this fast-growing digital world. Now, this doesn't mean you should completely stop using AI. Not at all. These tools can be super helpful, creative, and even fun, but we just have to remember that they're not perfect. AI isn't some magical mind reader or trustworthy best friend. It's a strong, useful machine that sometimes makes mistakes and needs to be used with care. So before typing anything into an AI chat, it's good to pause for a moment and ask yourself a few simple questions. Would I be okay if this message ended up on the internet for everyone to see? Is this something I'd feel fine posting on social media or sending in an email? If a stranger saw this, could they use it in a bad way? Because AI can be amazing, until it's not. The Gen Nomis case was a harsh reminder of that. Behind every message we type, there's a trail being left. Behind every smart reply from an AI, there are real companies watching over the system, storing data, and deciding what to do with it. Sometimes it's not just one company, but several. And we don't always know where that information is going. That's why it's so important to think ahead. Your words don't just stay on the screen. They travel, and once they're out there, you might not be able to get them back. So here's the easiest and safest rule to live by. If there's something you'd never want the world to see, don't share it with AI. Keep it to yourself or talk to a real person you trust about it. AI can do many things, but protecting your secrets isn't one of them. Let's use it wisely and make sure we stay safe while enjoying all the good it can offer. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.